Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to show autocomplete solution on text box in C Sharp WinForm application. We can do it in many ways, like from database and without database. I will show all the steps one by one. To show this, I have already taken a WinForm in the project. In this form, I have taken a heading level and another level to show the information of data and the text box with EMP name means employee name. At first I will show autocomplete solution on the text box with the database just from the properties. For this I am selecting the text box. Here is the properties autocomplete source. Here I will set custom source autocomplete mode. Suppose I will set suggest in the properties auto complete custom source collection here i will set some name suppose jesse harry jessica jackson okay let's run the form See, suppose I will start typing by J. See, all the name with J showing in the solution. If I change the properties, autocomplete mode to append. Let's run it. J, see, it's autocompleting and appending on the text box. And it is not showing the solution below. Now I will set another option, suggest and append. Let's run it. Suppose Jackson, see, it's showing both suggestion and appending the text in the text box. Now I will set the properties to default value. Here I will set none. Here I will set none. And I will erase all the collection. Okay. Now these things I can do in my code. Let's write code. Now I will write code in the constructor of this form class. Now I will create an object of autocomplete string collection class auto complete string collection collection request to new collection I will add item in this collection object collection dot add here I will set JC I will copy this Harry Arson Harpic. Now I will add this collection to the text box txt name dot autocomplete custom source equals to collection. I have to set txt emp dot autocomplete mode equals to autocomplete mode dot suggest and append. txt em dot autocomplete source equals to complete source dot custom source let's run the form suppose I will start name with Harry see all the solutions showing from this collection and appending on the text box I can create a method here to make it easy to call 
auto complete by code now i will create another method where i will take data from a string type array let's copy the method by array let's erase the data here i will declare a string type array string emp names equals to new string array here i will set some value like harry now i will add this array to the collection collection dot add range here i will pass the collection emp names let's call the method let's run it i will type harry see all the name with h showing suggestion and appending on the text box so by these two method we can enable autocomplete feature in text box without database now i will show how to do it by using database when data will come from the database let's copy this suppose i will use data table dt Let's comment this. At first, I will create a database in SQL Server. I have already written the script to make this video short. Let's execute all the code. Let's create it. Let's create use. see see in the employee info table we have inserted some data with the employee name here is the data now i will create a connection string i have already written the connection string copy the connection string here Let's import a return class. Here is the database name, and I have used SQL authentication and the use the passwords STM. Now I will write code in the method con dot open con dot close. SQL command cmd equals to new SQL command con select distinct emp name from SQL data adapter di equals to new SQL data adapter here I will pass the cmd command now I will declare a data table dt equals to new 
RTP. I will add this RTP to data adapter DT. Now I will create a for each loop for each here data row item will be row and the collection will be dt dot rows and here I will add the data to the collection dot add row zero dot to string let's run the form I will type suppose by T C to data Tommy and Trump I will start by J C Jessica Jerry and Jessica showing from database now I will comment this I will show same work by a data set here I can use data set ts to new data set da dot fill ts and here in the for each loop I will write the collection ds dot table zero dot rows let's call the method to constructor let's run it Trump C is working Jerry we can do the same tax by using data reader now I will show another way by by data reader here I will declare a data reader class SQL data reader rd equals to cmd dot execute reader while rd dot read collection dot add rd here I will set the column name dot to string let's call the method to the constructor again let's run it I will type Jessica see it's showing the auto suggestion we can comment it we can do it by another way collection dot add rd dot get string let's run it Jessica see it's working so this is how we can enable autocomplete feature on the text box without database and with database you can use any of this method as your project requirement so that's it for today if you think this video will be helpful for your project then do like comment share and subscribe to my channel you can collect this code from our facebook group
the facebook group link is in the description below thanks for watching